Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Welcome to our fifth video from our new series, swatching the entire CND Shellac collection. We're gonna swatch every color. And so this is our first video. There's going to be 16 altogether, or 17 videos. Our first video. Ah, uh, this is fifth. I said fifth. No, you, you said, said fifth. first. Okay, fifth. Um, so yes, we did the white, beiges, kind of creams, pinks, yellows, peaches, and some nudes. And today there was more nudes and some more pinks. Okay. All right. So we're going to swatch um, these colors on natural nails that are not perfect because not everybody has perfect nails. Okay. They're not bad, yeah, but not perfect. So we already did a coat of this base coat and let me know what you think about this base coat. I feel um, like the polish goes on better. So the, the surface, the extender, the CND shellac wear extender. Right. I didn't have the best luck with the wear of this base coat, but I'm... Um, I have to agree that the color goes on better. So I'm going to try actually using a regular base, a thin coat of this, and then uh, the color on top of it. Mm -hmm. So that's my next project. Okay, so today's colors are Cashmere Wrap, Field Fox, Nude Knickers, some great colors, Radiant Chill, Tundra, Fragrant Freesia, Candied, Be Demure, Demure. Okay, guys, Cindy, come on, come on. Like, really? Blushing topaz. Can you see it? Yes. Liar. And blush teddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to do one color at a time, and I'm going to give you my feedback, my experience um, about each color, and let you know if the color is very popular at the salon, if a lot of clients are liking it or not, and if the color has formula that's amazing or not so amazing because there's some good ones and there is some challenging ones. Okay, so the first one is Cashmere Wrap. It's a creamy kind of a peachy nude, but it's not too warm. I don't even know if I should call it peachy, but it's just gorgeous. Very good formula. Always two coats, no issues. So we're going to cure, cure it fully. Second coat. Fully cure. Second color is Field Fox. It's like a mauvey gray ish color. This is an amazing color. A lot of clients like it. It's beautiful for fall. It goes on very well. I just wish the brush was a new brush. Beautiful creamy formula. This one is a must have for sure. Okay. Coat number two. Always make sure that you apply the coats very thin, as thin as you can to get a good coverage. Don't float them because they have to cure properly. Okay. The third color is called Nude Knickers. And this is like a semi-sheer peachy nude. And on its own, I have to say it does not look perfect on every person. This would be a good color for under French in one coat, like one thin coat. It would be a good color for art as a base. But it tends to make the free edge look a little yellow. Hmm. Second coat of Nude Knickers. I call this color it's almost like a lip gloss, like a beige lip gloss. Well, not beige, nude. Oh, 
on very short nails this color also would look good it's just i find that if the free edge is a little bit yellow it can be a little problematic okay fully cure and this is radiant chill this one is quite frosty has a good coverage I do find this one applies easier than the uh, Vinylux version. It's almost like it's a little bit less frosty. Okay, for the cure. This is the second coat of Radiant Chill. Okay, for the cure. And this is Tundra. It's also frosty. It's um, a little challenging to apply, but it is easier to apply than a frosty nail polish because you have the time uh, with this product to really stretch it out and to make the Um, streaks kind of disappear, right? And always go from the cuticle to free edge, from the cuticle to free edge, and don't overwork it. But you see, it's good. Full cure. Second coat of Tundra. So make sure that you apply it very, very thin. And that's how you won't get any streaks or brush strokes, right? There you go. And this is Fragrant Freesia. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this color is just weird. This was on our top 10 worst shellac, shellac colors. Yeah, it kind of feels lumpy. It's just a weird color. Did anyone comment on that video uh, to say that they actually love it. Do you remember? Because mm. I don't. I think there was people who were in agreement about yeah. this one being a lumpy. It's kind of it has. It's a good idea. It has like a nice uh, silver flakies, but I don't know. It just does not translate well with this color or something. Let's mm -hmm. cure it. The bottle has a nice color. It's a little bit cooler. And the shimmer is much finer, so it's like a fine shimmer, silver. See, there's like these lumps. Yeah. I mean, the top coat is going to cover it, but, hmm. I wish this color was opaque, like the bottle. And I wish it had very fine silver shimmer that would be beautiful but the way it is i don't use it often at all i think i've used it once or twice and the clients didn't really like it so that's the god honest truth and this is candied it's quite pink the bottle have has faded from the very beginning this color was quite thick it came in a spring collection from what i remember and all the colors had that same formula, which I actually don't mind at all because they have very creamy application and they will have nice coverage in two coats. Mm -hmm. So second coat of Candied. The new brush would make the application much easier as well. The new brushes are absolutely awesome. I wish C&D sold them separately, but they don't. Okay, and fully cure. And this is Be Demure. And also the bottle 
faded. It's quite pink, you see? It's not like the bottle. And I have to say that's sometimes a bit of a problem because when clients look at the bottles, they, uh, they don't choose the right color. It has also a thicker formula. It's kind of similar to Candide, but it's a little bit darker, a little bit more pink. This one usually has a decent application, good application, but this nail is a bit of a challenge, so that ridge is sometimes visible. Okay, for the cure. And this is Blushing Topaz. It's a beautiful, chunky glitter in a clear base. So this looks really, really good over any nude, especially this one. The Untitled Bronze is a really, really good combination because it already has some shimmer in it and it matches this perfectly. So this is a really nice color that's kind of neutral, but it's great for holidays and, and uh, things like that. So you can see you have to be very, very um, light with this color because otherwise it's not going to have any glitters left and you have to mix it really, really well. Okay, cure it. This probably, like you were mentioning, would look good also over like a light gray, so you get the same finish as the bottle, right? Because if you put it over clear, then you don't have that light background. Mm -hmm. So two coats. They, uh, they're they obviously not fully opaque. Okay, so we want to mention one thing. Uh, we are going to show you all these colors in different lighting because especially this one, when you, when you uh, are looking at it from a different light. Let's just turn this light off. Okay, now this is terrible lighting here. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see how much more glittery it is, right? Like you don't see the nail as much. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but we will take the pictures of these colors in a different lighting. So wait until the end of the video, okay? Yeah. And the final color is Blush Teddy. So this is another color that I really don't use. I'm guessing you've had it for a while. Yeah. And somehow I have two bottles. I don't know why I bought the second bottle, because maybe I thought that the first bottle, there's no way. This color is the way it is. <laughs> so it's like a cool pink with a bit of a purple flash to it. But it's not super opaque. Um, it's just weird. So we'll see how this looks in two coats. But I don't use it much. In theory, it looks nice, but it does not look good on many people, I don't think. So maybe the new brush would help the application of this color. You also, I find, have to really give it a very, very good shake. Somehow it kind of settles. I just don't feel this color. What do you guys think? Let us know. Okay, fully cure. Okay, so this is the final look of all these colors. And again, we're going to 
uh, take pictures in different lightings. Please let us know if you would like us to continue with this huge project. Give it a like if you would like us to continue. Make a comment. That also helps the channel and helps us to see what you guys are thinking and what you are uh, interested in. So please comment. We are really, really um, happy to see your comments. And let's take some pictures of these colors and we will see you soon in the next video. Did you want to say something? No? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Ciao.